Hi guys, it's Claris and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys these new babies that I purchased and I cannot wait to use them. I just saw a video on them and I always kind of like the vibrant colors, the pinks and the turks and the violets. And so I realized that a lot of this was coming from the Radiant Concentrated Watercolor uh, by Dr. P.H. Martins. Um, so I got a couple of colors because I felt like the whole set was a little redundant. Some of the colors were a little too similar and I just wanted certain colors. So I really like the violet, I really like my pinks, I really like turks, and I like yellow for that burst of energy. So I figured let's just get a couple and try it out and see how it works. So this is me trying it out for the first time. Uh, and I am excited to show you what we can do. So I'm going to just quickly, very roughly, do some um, experimentation. So this is more of an experimenting video. And let's see how that works out. So I'm just using my squirrel mop brush in the one. And I will lay on some water and then we'll do the little droppy bit and see how that works so let's begin um, I'm just going to add little watery lines that are like extending from the center out but kind of touching each other And I am continuing to do that and once I have that done I am going to go ahead and get my get a color from here let's use the pink because you know how I love my pinks and let's try and see how this works out I hear a little goes a long way with these oops there we go, see? Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. It hasn't done much of a flare up of color, but just that little bit is good enough to kind of get me going all goo goo gaga. So clearly I've not added enough amount of water, but you can just kind of take the water and spread it around so I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of spread stuff around and let's see how that kind of extends so it's doing something like that and then I'm also going to kind of go in and draw some from here do my little dot things that I like to do Extend some over here too. And just kind of extend it over here. So all you need to do is just kind of add more water and it flows. And it flows quite nicely, I say. I am liking this. It's like so much you can probably do with this. And then now that we have something like this, I'm just gonna try and do another one. Um, I'm going to add a drop of the yellow and then let's see what happens there. So what I will do is I'll just add a little bit of yellow there. And add some here. And then what I'm going to do is take my brush again and kind of draw it out and oh la la it's giving some really nice vibrant effects here I don't know about you guys but I love what I am seeing and I'm just kind of experimenting to see how we can go along with this and create more. 
So I'm just going to add this next one, which is going to be the violet. And just a tad bit. I thought I had a little bit. There we go. I'm going to add some at the top. And let's just kind of try and see if we can blend it in. And you can just take your brush and kind of create other, extend water and do other things happening there. And again, I'm going to extend some over here too to kind of just see what we can get. And why not maybe just like even make a flower? So I guess this is very much like those alcohol colors with the yellow paper, I guess. I've heard you can do it on uh, photograph paper. Is that the word? I think so. So... These are really vibrant and bright, and I am absolutely loving them. And I'm just gonna add the last and final color, which is the blue. And let's just add it here. Ooh, look at that blue. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm gonna add some over here. And just add some right there. And there we have like three areas of blue. And let's just kind of try and spread them around. And what if I just kind of add more water here and see how that kind of spreads around. And I'll add some on this side as well. So literally, like, this turquoise blue is so bright, guys. It is astonishingly bright. Like, it literally just overpowers everything else. And I'm so into this whole thing of bright colors that I'm just going to add a little bit of... I think we have a lot of purple already. I think I want to add a little bit of the yellow... Let's just see how that kind of pans out. And then I think you can just like move the color around. And I think I want to add some. See, now I'm really getting into it. Now I am really getting into it. Adding a little bit of the purple. And I'm just going to swish it around. And you know what? I'm going to take my number four, or actually no, I'll take my Princeton and I will try and add some leaves. And I'm just going to use my green and add some leaves. And I want to use like a nice dark green. And I'm just adding leaves. And I have some of it touching there and some of it not. So I will use this bit here to kind of extend, get some of that purple in there and just experiment to see what sort of effects we can get bleeding into the purple see that purple bleeding into the green and I'm literally just not thinking too much and just trying to get an idea of what we can do and how we can use these and it's looking to be quite 
colorful and you guys know I love my colors. Just adding leaves to kind of see how we can extend and make this interesting. I'm almost trying a new pattern, you can say. I like the bleeding effect, as you already know, and it's giving me some really nice bleeding effects. I really like it. I think these colors are definitely worth the investment. And uh, I think a lot can be done with these. Um, the one thing about them I hear is they don't sit well in sunlight. So these need to be placed if you're presenting them as a gift or something. They need to be off away from the sun. So that's the only downside. But I don't really consider it a downside. Um, because... I like my bright colors and I think it's worth it if you're not able to do put these out as much so yeah so this is my review off not really review but just kind of me showing you uh, my new colors that I have purchased and just as soon as I can stop kind of extending and drawing more leaves uh, I can let you guys know, go but uh, I'm sure you're enjoying this whole process of watching the leaves come about as well so literally I'm doing this here and I'm realizing I probably didn't even need green I could just make leaves just using the color the colors that's that's on there already and kind of just um, do these light versions of leaves because it's a very abstract painting at this point and yeah that's all I can say guys I'm really loving this I like it and I cannot wait to incorporate this into some of the videos I put out for you guys so stay tuned for that thanks so much for watching bye